G'day, I'm Karen Marie. Welcome to Life in the Bush. In this video, I will introduce you to Hibertia, this small shrub next to me, and you will find out something pretty special about these gorgeous yellow flowers. There are about 150 species of Hibertia across the world, and 120 of those are spread across most states and territories in Australia, with about 85 species in Western Australia. This particular one is very common around the Perth region, which is where I am today. And I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge that the land I'm filming on today is the traditional lands of the Noongar Wajak Aboriginal people. The genus Hibertia was named after an English nurseryman named George Hibbert. When pronouncing botanical names, it's actually correct to pronounce every vowel. So Hibertia or Hibertia is probably the correct pronunciation, although most people just refer to it as Hibertia. So long as people understand what you're talking about, it doesn't really matter if you get the pronunciation correct. Just do your best. Now beetles and hoverflies can pollinate the flowers of Hibertia species and apparently a lot of our Western Australian Hibertia species can be buzz pollinated by native bees. If you haven't heard of the term buzz pollination before, do a quick search on the internet to find out a little bit more. I'll just briefly give you a rundown in this video. There's even uh, a David Attenborough video that mentions buzz pollination. I love David Attenborough. He has many, many wonderful documentaries out there worth watching. The quick explanation of buzz pollination is that the bees hover in front of the flower. They vibrate their wings at a particular frequency that triggers the anthers to release the pollen. The flower's intention is for the pollen to land on the bee. The bee gets the reward of the pollen. The bee then flies onto the next flower and some of that pollen comes off onto the female parts of the next flower and ideally fertilization will occur. Now here's the really, really interesting part. In order for plants to attract buzz pollinators, it seems that they have come up with a color scheme. Now, the typical color scheme for flowers that attract buzz pollinating insects, like our native bees, is a purpley mauve sort of petals and bright yellow anthers. Now, you might be thinking, Karen, what's this got to do with Hibertia? They're clearly yellow flowers, and they are to you and me, but bees see the world quite differently. You see, bees see different parts of the colour spectrum to us humans. Apparently, they can't make out the colour red, whereas we can see red, but they can make out ultraviolet wavelengths that we can't. And guess what? The yellow petals on some Herbertia species reflect UV light from their petals and not their anthers. So because we can't see the UV light, we see yellow petals and the bees see a purple color. Put as simply as I can, basically sometimes what we interpret as yellow, bees interpret as purple because of the ultraviolet light that they can see and we can't. It's called bee purple. So Hibertias use this to attract the buzz pollinating bees to ensure that their flowers become fertilised. How clever is that? <laughs> well, that's it on Hibertia from me today. Thanks for joining me out in the bush. Perhaps you will get a chance to go out in nature today and actually next time you are in nature, keep an eye out. Perhaps you might find a bee buzzing at a flower hoping for a reward of pollen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. Bye for now. I'll see you next time on Life in the Bush.